What's up everybody? I'm Beard Unknown and today we've got the developer update that was just released for the upcoming PTB for Dead by Daylight. A lot of big changes here. I'm going to go over them real quick with you guys so that way you don't have to read it um, and you can figure out what's going on and you can see what's going on. All right, let's crack into it and see what's new. First up, we've got the finishing Mori. Uh, the killer can now perform a Mori on the final survivor without losing an offering. Objects obstructing the camera during the Mori animation will fade away. Uh, they reworked the Memento Mori offerings and they have a new effect. You gain a large bonus when performing a Mori on the final survivor. Next, we have survivor perks. Starting with teamwork, power of two. This effect will linger for a few seconds when out of range. Re-entering the range before the linger time expires will maintain the effects. Then they changed it to uh, increase the range to 8, 12, and 16 meters. It was just a solid 12. They removed Teamwork Power 2 no longer has a cooldown. Uh, and then it no longer deactivates when either survivor loses a health state. Next, they changed up uh, Teamwork Collective Stealth. This effect will linger for a few seconds when out of range. Re-entering this range before the linger time expires will maintain the effect. Increased range to 8, 12, and 16 meters. It was 12, a solid 12 again. Teamwork Collective Stealth no longer has a cooldown and no longer deactivates when either survivor loses health state. So pretty much the exact same as the last one. Then we have Corrective Action. It now applies to survivors within 8 uh, meters. Uh, it was cooperating, cooperating on the same action. Now they just have to be within 8 meters to get the boost. Uh, prevented skill checks now become great skill checks. Inner focus uh, increased the aura reading duration to 6, 8, and 10 seconds. And they removed the range requirement. Then we have we're going to live forever. And they increased the healing speed bonus to 150. It was just 100%. And they removed the endurance effect no longer needs to be activated. And added a 30 second cooldown to the endurance effect. Then poised when you first start repairing a generator you see the killer's aura for six seconds increased the duration to 10 12 and 14 seconds then we have blood rush blood rush now activates for 40 50 and 60 seconds after being unhooked uh previously activated permanently when you were on uh when you were one hook away from death blood rush now deactivates upon performing a conspicuous action and it deactivates when the exit gates are powered uh, Blood Rush no longer heals or provides the broken status effect. Next, we have Quick Gambit. When chased, uh, see the auras of other survivors. Quick Gambit now has a 60 second cooldown upon losing a health state. Reduced repair speed bonus to 3, 4, and 5%. It was 6, 7, and 8. Repair speed bonus no longer has a limited range. Uh, distortion. This is a big one. They rework distortion and it no longer has tokens and instead deactivates once used until the next time you are chased. They changed uh, the duration to 8, 10, and 12 seconds. It was 6, 8, and 10. Uh, this will be a big one, just having that be kind of toned down a bit so you're not just able to be invisible the entire match. Uh, Lucky Star has been changed. It now suppresses Grunts of Pain's Pain and pools of blood as long as you are in the locker. The effect lingers for 30 seconds after exiting the locker. It was 10 seconds after entering. And then they removed. It no longer reveals survivors or generators auras. Next, we have the killer perks. Genetic limits. Uh, anytime a survivor loses a health state, they suffer from the exhaustion for 6, 7, and 8 seconds. Uh, that was a complete rework. Then they reworked leverage. Uh, now when a survivor performs an unhook, their healing speed is reduced by 30, 40, and 50% uh, for 30 seconds. Thwack. It had a rework. Now starts with three tokens. Gain one token upon hooking a survivor. When breaking a pallet or a break of a wall, consume one token and cause survivors within 24 meters to scream and reveal their location 
four, three, four, and five seconds. Machine learning. This one was changed. The most recent damage generator becomes compromised. Dev note here, machine learning previously required you to damage one generator to activate it, then another to compromise it. This made it awkward to use. To simplify this, the most recently damaged generator will always be compromised. Only one can be compromised at a time. Uh, death bound. It no longer has a distance requirement to activate and it no longer has a duration and instead deactivates when the healer is hooked. Zenshin or Zanshin tactics had a rework. When a survivor is within six meters of a drop pallet, within 16 meters of your location, their aura is revealed for six, eight, and 10 seconds. Next, we have Dead Man's Switch. It now applies to the first survivor who stops repairing a generator and increased duration to 40, 45, and 50 seconds. It was 20, 25, and 30. I imagine that is because it only replies to one person instead of everybody. Then we have Blood Echo. Blood Echo no longer has a cooldown and they reduce the duration to 20, 25, and 30 seconds. Uh, Hex Crowd Control, they reworked it. The last three, four, and five volts, which survivors rush volt are blocked by the entity. This lasts until the hex totem is cleansed. That sounds really, really powerful. Honestly, I'm, re I'm, I'm very interested to see what this does. Then we have Predator. It was completely reworked. And when a survivor escapes a chase, reveal their aura for six seconds. This perk then goes on cooldown for 60, 50, and 40 seconds. We have a few killer updates, starting with the Skull Merchant. They have a change, decreased hindered pen penalty when scanned by a drone to 5% was 10%. Removed, the Skull Merchant no longer gains haste when scanning a survivor. Uh, the change reduced the number of drone scan lines to one, it was two. Drones are now always in their active state. And then drone scan lines are now invisible beyond 16 meters. Uh, that'll make it a lot easier to see. If you're up close on it, you're going to be able to see that one line and the one line is not going to be nearly as punishing as as having having it scan two on either side. Then we've got Hillbilly. It's a bit of a nerf, if you ask me. They decrease time before overdrive starts to dissipate to eight seconds. It was 15. Decreased overdrive movement speed to 11.5 meters a second. It was 13. <laughs> Uh, decreased overdrive charges gained while revving and sprinting to 1.5 a second. It was two uh, every second. Increased chainsaw mist attack cooldown to 2.7 seconds. It was 2.5. Then we have the twins. They increased Vector's cooldown when he's crushed to 20 seconds. It was 15. That, that seems like a pretty big jump to me. Increased the cooldown after Vector downs a survivor to 3.2 seconds. It was 2.7. Uh, and then lastly, we have the unknown, starting with a new HUD update to display teleport, cooldown, and hallucination spawn time. And then they changed the movement speed. It now decreases sooner whenever you charge your power. Uh, they increased the teleport speed by 15%. Uh, adjustments were made to blurry photo and vanishing box add-ons. And then and they improved visual and audio feedback when using the UVX. Um, there are not any like specifics on exactly what they did for blurry photo and vanishing box add-ons. Uh, in the notes here, it does say that they made blurry photo kind of like part of his main kit. And then the vanishing box add-on, they just toned it back a little bit because it seemed a little bit too strong. So that is all we have for today. Um, I will have the link to the developer updates in the video in the description if you are interested in checking them out yourself and then if you want to see more content like this make sure to hit that that subscribe button and hit the little bell notification so that you can catch every single one of these i will be trying to get these up as soon as i can every time that an update is uh released other than that come hang out with me on twitch i stream every tuesday and wednesday at 9 30 a.m central time I would love to see you guys there. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for watching the video and I will catch you next time.